Welcome back. Picture it. You're in the kitchen prepping dinner and recipe asked for you to julienne a vegetable mm -hmm. or chiffonade. Did I say that right? Yes. Some herbs. <laughs> I know a little bit, a little bit. So if you're at a loss, you are not alone. Well, luckily, <laughs> Chef Jamie Gwen recently swung by to give us a little class on how to master our knife skills. All right, Chef Jamie, thank you so much for joining me today. Of uh, we are talking knives today, my friend. We are. And by the way, great knife skills are essential to becoming a better cook. There is no doubt. They are the basis of everything in the kitchen. So master your knife skills and you'll be a culinary hero for sure. Okay. I want to talk knives with you and grip and claw and cutting boards and all that good stuff. But first, let me just tell you, I really believe that every great cook needs only three essential knives. You need a chef's knife, you need a serrated knife, that's right, and you need a paring knife. And the okay. chef's knife can be anything from six inches to ten inches. It's about how you use it. Now, okay, mind wait, you, let me ask you though, yeah. knives can get so expensive. Do you need to put all your life savings into <laughs> one knife? No. Or does it, can you pick whatever? It matters, but the sharpness and the blade matters almost more than the knife. Yes, okay. I believe in a good investment if you love to cook. Right. But keep your knives sharp, professionally sharp and preferably. More accidents happen from dull knives in a kitchen than from sharp because you're applying so much pressure. Mm -hmm. So just consider buy what you can afford, the best that you can afford and keep them okay. sharp or honed. All right. Now, next, you always want to secure your cutting board. Mm -hmm. So see how it doesn't move? Here's a great trick. Mine's Take flying in all over the place in the kitchen. Yeah, what am I exactly, doing wrong? right? Take a wet uh, paper towel. Set it underneath okay. and secure your board. You'll have more safety there too. A silicone baking mat works well as well. It's a great and hack. Then, okay. Here's the most important part, and that is how you hold a knife. Okay. Right? The lower you hold to the tip of the knife, the more control you have over it. So one finger goes on the right side if you're a righty, and the thumb, that's right, right at the base of the bolster. Very, okay, so you never want to put your finger up here, right? No, that you okay. don't. And okay. then when you use your other hand, you tuck your fingers under like a claw so that the knife cascades over your knuckles, and so you don't cut the tips of your fingers this off, right? is where I get really nervous. Okay, so notice how I'm tucking in, and I'm slicing. You can use your celery. There you go. No, tuck those fingers. There you go. I, no, you'll get it. Practice makes perfect here. But, you know, the grip, you can see I've got almost window pane slices of tomato here. See, I've gotten really got really going fast with my finger just very far away. I worry about the tips of your fingers, though. You'll have more control if you hold on closer. Okay. Now, there are a multitude of wonderful knives out there and wonderful cuts. Mm -hmm. Notice that this has like a wavy... Uh, almost imprint. Yeah, does that matter? It, uh, it does actually, okay. and this is called santoku. Okay. This is actually to release the food so that you get a really nice release of something oh. like tomatoes, let's say, or if you're slicing a lemon, notice how those slices just fall right off, right? Okay. Now, the most essential usually is a dice, right? And everyone should know how to cut an onion. So, yes. What is the easiest way to cut this onion? Also, here's the best way. How do you not cry? I cry every single time, and then I call my husband. I'm like, what did you do to Okay, me? hold on. <laughs> Tuck those fingers, please. Okay. Uh, there, there is no solution to crying. You can try goggles and crackers and everything else, but if you're using a sharp knife, you'll get less tears. Oh. Find the root end of the onion and leave it intact. Okay. Cut the other side of the onion off, right? Okay. And then you have a flat surface to cut down through the root end, which leaves that onion intact. There you go, you okay. got it. Now, you can move to the one that I've peeled for you just in the interest of time. You're now going to take your knife and with the onion towards you, you're going to cut slits the size of your preferred dice down towards you. You have control. Okay. You got it? Yep, and really quickly, Chef Jamie, uh, before time runs out, can yep. you just explain all the different types of cuts? You, I always hear slicing, dicing, mincing, yes, of julienne. Course. What is the difference between all of those? And does it really matter? Can you just, I it mean, does, it's all actually. Get cooked. If you're following a recipe, I think you should know the basics. So, this is the perfect medium dice, as it's often called, diced an onion. Minced some garlic, very important to get a fine chop so that the flavor really melds throughout the dish, right? This is called chiffonade, mm. and I showed you uh, a pile, or I gave you a pile, rather, of basil mm -hmm. leaves. Okay. You roll them up after you've piled them mm -hmm. tightly, and then you cut down 
to make super skinny thin strips. Okay, I've always and wanted to do this on air. That is called chiffonade. Look at you, fancy. That is called a chiffonade, and we love that. There's also a julienne, an oblique cut. There's lots of wonderful ways to master your knife skills. You're gonna use a slicer, oh. if you have one, for a rotisserie chicken. You're gonna use a serrated knife for the more gentle, like an angel food cake. Okay. The knife, the knife matters, your skills matter more. All right, I am ready for the kitchen. Chef Jamie Gwen, thank you so much. <laughs> you always have the best things. Uh, thank you for coming by. Thank you for having me. I'm taking this knife. All right, I'm going in. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>